Hello folks, welcome back to the channel, from my Voice Stream here. Here we are looking at all the new mods that's been dropped today on the 28th of February 2024. And yeah, we've got, officially it says, five new mods, but there is an update one that is for console release. And also there is an update to the TX 3500 series and TX 92 Special by A2 Studio. That should have come out yesterday, but for whatever reason, because the Giants didn't release it. That meant when I did my mod review on the TLX holders pack and that, yeah, I couldn't do everything because at the time there was only an update to the 22 series and that only let us to review the normal holder beds. But yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to review the pack now. On top of that, also all the other new mods that's been released today, and as always, there will be timestamps down below. So yeah, let's start off with the updates and that. So, first of all, we've got the update to the TLX 982 series. And this is ChangeLog 2.1. And it says added, fixed, adjusted, pick up bed license plate, fuel unloads with auto load active, auto load trigger, suspension raised. And more importantly, for reference to us, added connections to the incumbent, or now, the TLX holding pack. And Cinema for the 3500 series, update 1.4, XL version with wrong exhaust smoke. The doesn't say anything about the new update to this for the horse pack, but this was required for it to function. So yep, yeah, as I mentioned in my mod review for the horse pack and that, so you'll find these under tools, under miscellaneous. Go towards the end, so you've got your 3500 series all stuff here. And yeah, it is 4 slots, 2 slots, 10 and 10 slots, respectively. Feel free to check them out individually in that. So, what I'm going to do now is go over each individual one. So, the Hot Shot XL. So, that always comes with a 5th wheel attacher. Lights, you've got none. LED lights, spotlights, emergency light bar, and back to standard. Fenders, you've got Design 1. Design 2 with a bit of flared arches and back to 1. Main colour, so this is all the A2 Studio palette, so that's going to change obviously the main body. And if we look at the fenders, there you go. Get those flare fenders showing. Now, this is a personal favourite of mine, the detachable tone unit. And thankfully, David from A2 Studio has given some instructions on Mod Hub, but that's more for terms with using other of his mods and that, but you can use this for other equipment and that, as I will show. So yeah, similar lights and that, as you can see. And the design is the actual bed itself, so you got your sort of corrugated whatever metal plates, plain stainless steel, bit of rug stainless steel, and then a rusted and see how that looks. And your design colour will change the actual unit itself on the middle there. So, onto your holder bed XL. And you also forgot the hotshot does hold 1500 litres of fuel. The holder bed also holds 1500 litres of fuel. And this is just a plain service like kind of attacher. It's nothing else special about it. No tension belts or anything like that. Then onto the holder bed itself, similar thing with fuel and that. And all this difference is a different of vehicles now attached to, so there you go, just showing that in yellow. So yeah, I'm gonna start off with here on the right. So we've got the hot shot XL. And yeah, if it says XL in the name, you'll need the large versions of the these. So, yeah, the 1980 special, the XL, you're going to need that. And if you're using the 2022 series, you can't use that for anything with the XL. For the TLX 3500, you'll need either these here, the crew cab, or I think there's a single cab XL there. No, right? But yeah, so these XL versions here, you're going to need those. And yeah, so yeah, we'll come out of here, so yeah. Well, the Hotshot XL, it's got that fifth wheel attacher on the back. And 
yet, so again, just design. Let's give this a little go. We've got three of those new John Deere autonomous ones, so they're like 10 point something tons each. And yeah, you can sort of see it doesn't really work that well. You can actually see the bed flexing off the chassis there, so yeah, it's all designed poor, like one of those massive 30, 40 tons of equipment. So see, yeah, the bed does flex a little bit. The overall's not too bad. So there you go, and detach that. Our suspension for the pickup. And that is it. No tennis belts or anything like that. Also, you have that little hitch on the back you can attach a trailer to, by the looks of it. So yeah, that is the Hot Shot XL. Nope, on the wrong mod. There we go, so just tab over. There we go, so yeah. I'm going to look at you last. So yeah, I did show this off yesterday in that, but just a reminder. This is the normal bed in that, so the non-XL version of all the beds. Similar thing, fuel capacity, no tension straps. It's got that attacher on the back, as you see here. And now on to the Horror Bed XL version, and yeah, seeing the ones we looked at. Only difference is once again, there's no winches or anything like that. There's no tension belts. But yeah, at the end of the day, it's a simple service truck now. So, or can be used as a service truck depending on what you're using and what configurations. And now for the detachable unit, so as you see, I've got something already attached, so what I'm going to do is lower you undo the tension straps and just going to fold all that so yeah, we want to keep it like so and yeah you can detach the whole thing or you can just detach this end if you wish but yeah, personally, I would recommend that. So, yeah, we've got a couple of options. So, unfold the wheel lift so that will lower the back end down. You've got retention straps for this side of the back. Then R1, right stick up and down, brings the thing forward and back. And that's going to be needed because I want to test it on some larger equipment than that to see how much we can pull on that and what we can pull. And then L1. Right stick left to right, raises and lowers that, and then up and down, raises the actual whole thing on the hydraulics itself. And yeah, just looking at the horse pack, it says, gives a bit of a guidance, purchase, check, attach, yes, unfold, yes, before activating the tension belts on the axle attachment. So, let's try that now, so what I'm going to do is unfold it. I want to do is no, not that because if you know already TLX DT2U axle lift attacher, that will just give that like the wonkiness free usage. So that's going to be for that. So there we go. You go to the bed itself. There we go. There you bring you back. And yeah, I think you can just keep on sending. And it says enter the vehicle. And it doesn't say where or not it needs to be running or not, but on worst case scenario you can just drive over it yourself if you wish. So yeah, there we go. So it's got under the axles there. I think we're looking good, so now it's that tension belt on. Yep, see it's tension belted. So now I ah, know. How about now? There we go, so try to do it again, so like so. Attach. Ah, well about we need to lift it, so if I do that. Nope. 
man, this is working so good in testing. Let's try lift the whole thing. So, here we go. Now, we say it's attached. Now it is. Oh, bear with me a sec. Once I figure this out again, this was looking so good in testing. So, yeah, there we go. Match gets sorted. Yeah, you need to sort, sort lifting it, then attach the tension straps. And it says, use the lower axle lift function to allow free rotation of the attacher. So that is L1 and circle. And the, there we go. So, yeah. Yeah, when I sort of in testing that, I found it better to be using the, just keep it fixed in that. So that's going to do. And there you go. So it does roughly work in that. But now I want to use this on something bigger. So let's try a combine harvester. So now we roughly know what to do here. You purchase this. Yes. Attach. Yes. Unfolded. Yes. And yeah, go four. Position the axle lift below the vehicle to tow. We will do that. So R1. Right stick up. And I'm thinking that is good. That says lift the vehicle from the ground. It does say if it is too heavy, use a weight in the pack. But we didn't have that here, so now I'm going to attack and off the way we go. Or not, but yeah, again, yeah, it's sort of semi working, but let's try again. So bring you in. Ah, so it's probably too heavy, so fair enough. Let's try a tractor now. So, done small tractor. But now, what about a large one? So, once again, purchase, and it's all attached to that. It's unfolded. Now, let's get it into position. And actually, what I'm going to do, because this is the ATAR, the new one, I'm going to start the engine. And it's going to raise the suspension a little bit. That's going to help. Now. So I want to drop this down. There we go, like that. And I think that is attached. We'll find out in a sec. So, yeah, if we start. Gently lifting that up. Then, yeah, so do that. And there we go. We are looking good, so that's, yeah, it's going to struggle in that. To be honest, it could be me doing it wrong in that. This is something I don't tend to use in that, but yeah, what's the I'll use it on every valley in that until that fucked up in that with the update in that. Well, not the update to get removed from mod hub because of people moaning, as they typically do. But regardless, oh yeah, now I'll try to get a bit carried away with that. But yeah, so personally, how I'd use it is lift the TLX DTU, get it all remounted or whatever, and then you'll be fine. Because otherwise, you're going to have something like this to deal with. So. Attach the bed. There we go. Reattach it all. And Bob's drunk all we're good. So, personally, I'll leave the last one there. Rather than set, say, to lower it, I'll leave it unfixed. To keep that rigidity in that. But, again, that's me personally in that. So, perhaps I'm using this wrong. But, yeah, so that's the update to the TLX trucks and a proper review of the TLX Horus platform packed by A2 Studio. 
Next, we're going to head on to our actual mods for today. So, to start off with, we're looking at the Massey Ferguson 15. This is by Ada Modern ABP Team featuring BSM. 0.85 megabytes to download, and essentially, we, what this is is a forestry grab. It was made from the early 70s to the late 90s, suitable for small to medium farms. It only costs 850 to buy, and in terms with slot count, it's only one, so. You'll find this under Tools and Forestry Equipment. Go towards the end. And there you go. And yeah, simple what it is, there's a log grabber in that, as I mentioned. So toothpaste stage colour that will change the main frame. And your design colour will change the claws. As well as the little hitches there, as you can see. So yeah, got that all set up. And yeah, in terms of what it can do, if I tried to use it on the chunkier spruce trees and I was having issues with it. So really it's something that's got to be a bit more trim, so something like these. So if I just bring one over a sec. Yeah, attached to the bar I see here, so because yeah, I did it did work the first time I tried to attach to this, but uh yeah, it's just it was a bit of a pain in that, and it was like clipping through, phasing through. Also, notice is that it's got a little pin hook there, trigger attacher, if you wish to use that. But yeah, so we'll lower the loader arm, left to right, pivots the actual attacher, and then L1, right stick up and down, raises and lowers that. And then L1, R1, right stick, left to right. Uh, sat with the cool, so yeah, it'd be a good way to decapitate someone, maybe. <laughs> Joking, but anyway, so I'm gonna get this into position, just you like so. And there we go, we grabbed the log, and now it's clipped through again. So let's try it again. That's it, so don't go grabbing it too much like I did that first time around. So yeah, it does have a variety of what logs you can use, and yeah, once you're on, you're pretty much on there pretty solid. Yeah, perhaps I didn't do it too tight there, but when I was in testing, I had it at the perfect amount, and it was absolutely rock solid, so try that again. So yeah, just to the point it starts to sort of position and phase in. And then, yeah, raise the whole log unit if you want. And there you go, you got your log there. The only thing I think I had an issue with is... Really, is this one here, this little pin hook over here. Like, if this was a bit more further back, that, that gives us more of that overreach angle and that, that over... Because that is, what, half a metre or so from the edge? I guarantee by the time we get to shop now, that's going to come off. Okay, probably not, but... Get what I mean now. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, uh, no. There we go. So, yeah. Maybe... Um, yeah, again, I could be using it wrong. There is a good chance of that. And, yeah, just quick looking on the pictures of the mod up here. And, yeah, sort of shows it, like, the logs being over here, so perhaps I am doing something wrong, so bear with me a sec whilst I try to give it one more go. So yeah, I want to give Ada Modern a fair shout now, it does some awesome mods and that. Again, just could be simple user error in that, so it's so, alright, yeah, try to give it a go, couldn't get that to work, but yeah, got a big log on again, and yeah, sort of see what I mean by it sort of glitching and that. Benji's is just going to face through that, but for now, we're doing good. It's not really bogging the sound too much. Saw that log. And get a nice tidy two grand for that. So, that is the Massey Ferguson 15 by A Dub on the team, AVP team featuring BSM. Next. Now, we've got the Chrome Big Pack 1290 HDP VC Shrew Harvest add-on. This is by Abram Borden and EWW 
Bobo. 10.39 megabytes to download, and this particular mod does require one mod, and that is the Straw Harvest mod by Creative Mesh. And yeah, I'm not sure how to feel about that and that, but in the way it makes sense that because it uses the or has the ability to use the bell collectors. And trust me, you won't stick around for this because you know the earlier problems we had with the bell collector and that. With this mod, there is another issue, so do it wrong. It's nothing to do with Creative Mesh and the Straw Harvest add on itself. Or Straw Harvest DLC, whatever. It's the mod itself that's going to need an update, I think, because. Yeah, we'll get to that point in a sec. But yeah, turns with slot count and all that is throwing slots on console goes down to 1. And you'll typically find this under baiters, tools and baiters. Go towards the end. Where you got your straw harvest stuff. And yeah, right at the end, 390 grand. So compare that to the 1290 HDP2 XC. 10 grand cheaper. Does look more like your base game. John Deere, not John Deere, Chrome, mo chrome Mowers, Chrome Baiters and that. But yeah, 39 grand, design, got your standard, black variant 1, 2, all silver, your Brinker, another brand, and back to standard. Wheel setups, all pretty standard. Attachers, no or yes for the bell collect, so that would be doing the bells normally. And that's with the Bell Collector 1230. And that's the part that requires the Jewel Harvest add-on. Everything else doesn't need it. To be honest, there's no options for like net and twine stuff and all that. So the fact that, that this is a required mod as part of this pack, that's what it is at the end of the day. Or the, this Baylor mod requires the DLC pack and that. And that is what, 140 megabytes, and that was a pain in the ass to download. So, yeah, take it as you wish. Ideally, I wish there was an update so it doesn't require it. And simply, if you want to try using this without the straw harvest, then you can't do it simply. But, yeah, anyway, slide chat attack, yes or no. Look at that, I think it's like 20 litres or something. Or 100 litres. 120 litres, so. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to show this one off last. So yeah, on to the normal one. With the binker, drinker, whatever it's called. Yeah, no, nothing to shout about, nothing to go home about. Just fold, unfold, lower, turn on, and all that. But, obviously your bell options, no, 220s. Actually lower the bailer itself. And yeah, decent pick up in that. Very decent pick up in that. And yeah, we'll see this coming out at the rear. Anything funky gonna happen? Nope. Try to unload it. Nope, nothing. So, this one on its own. No issues. And I mean, generally, no issues in that. However, on the other one, on the other end. I can't say <laughs> uh, exactly the same about that, so... Anywho, I'll just show you folks what I'm on about why I'm having that sort of evil, menacing laughing. In a way, or sort of made it right that way, so... There are the bailer net. Unfold the bell the looter. The bell collector. That's going to bring it forward and connect. And yet, whilst you've got your bell unload modes and all that... And for this, I'm going to go with... Let's try 240, because I know what's going to happen. We'll try with bigger bells than that. So, alright. Is it going to do it? There we go. And there it goes! Something very mild. Of <laughs> very mild. But at least also with the bell collector, now you can just keep on. And yeah, there we go. Ooh. Alright, yeah. There was an issue where it just slides forever in that, so. 
Yeah, about that, <laughs> Governor. You still have a god problem here. But, but wait, there's more? Does this happen when I try to do it this? So, I'll, I want to unload the bell. And yeah, there we go. We've created ourselves. <laughs> oh, this thing is completely fucking broken with the bell collector. Oh, yeah, just get absolutely heated. Hey, yeah, I'll try with the bell unload mode in that, so I'm going to go with just one bell. How does that work? Seems to work. Pumping up his bells. Keep on pumping. Now, we'll go left and right. Does anything happen here? Yep. Get absolutely heated. And all on board. I don't want to unload these bells. On go home. Okay. Alright. <laughs> that didn't work there. So, let's try it again. So. Oh yeah, I'm just having too much fun with this, the broken mods and that. Sometimes the broken mods are the best kind of mods, when you're having a shit day and that. You go like, how the fuck did this get through testing? Honestly, I don't know, but... Clearly someone from Giants with saw this and that. But yeah, it's right here where it's starting to tilt. Yeah, that's going to be an issue, but... Anyway, let's just keep on doing the same thing. Let's go with a bigger swath of that, because I can't bother to wait. And, yep, so far, so good. Two bells. So far, so good. I know everything. Didn't need to do that one. And, yeah, sort of get muddy heated, or in the case with a Luke Farm guy, LFG. You get sent into the trees. Thankfully on my new mass on test map, I got rid of all the trees. Apart from the ones I planted while setting this up. Whenever I got around to setting up this like, mod review testing map and that, game C file. But yeah, so... If you're using this mod, personally I don't recommend it, because it requires a additional mod. Yeah, this is only 10.39 megabytes of downloads, and the straw harvest, yeah, that is, what, 150 in that? Actually, I'll have a quick look now, so, so yeah, just had a look, and yep, yeah, 149 megabytes, so for this mod, as you see, it is 160 megabytes, it's not 10, it's 160. That's how you got to look at it, at the end of the day, until it gets to the update it. Yeah, personally I don't recommend it. That's only because of the shrew harvest stuff in that, like this thing here. Like, without that, get rid of shrew harvest BS and that. Oh dear, these are unknowns. Yeah, there we go, should be fine now. But yeah, so get rid of this, and then yeah, be absolutely fine. review and yeah this is completely fine I've got no issues with this I enjoy this more than that as it is forget about the true harvest stuff and that stuff wrong with creative mesh or anything it's because my issues is with one is the required mod and two the bit that makes it a required mod is completely fucking broken so personally I don't recommend this mod but regardless if you're using it, got space and that, then yes, use it. Feel free to use it. Just don't use anything with straw harvest stuff. But yeah, so this is the Chrome Big Pack 1290E HDD PVC straw harvest add-on by Acro Modding and EWW Bobo. Next, on to our next set of mods, and this is the Class Jaguar 900TT pack. This is by David8511. 29.86 megabytes to download, and essentially what this is is a, a Forge Harvester pack nat with a Class Forge Harvester with some headers, a Collector, and a Grass Cutter, and a Header Trader. So yeah, I'm going to go through this section here. But yeah, so you'll find the Class Jaguar Harvester itself. 
you'll find that under forage harvesters and that and slot count for that is 22 slots goes down to one version 80 grand to buy 653 to 925 horsepower 1350 liters of fuel 24 miles per hour turns with traveling speed 20 liters of slightest additive and 14.1 tons it weighs so yeah, you got the 960 Terra Track or the 990. So yeah, you got 653 or 925. We'll set up pretty standard pipes. You got your st standard pipe and long pipes. Uh, terms with your main colors, you got your Schwartz or your Kloss. So that is that. Now for your wheel colors, you got your standard Schwartz Red or sorry Schwartz Black and your Weeb whatever it's called. The next you got your two horror headers, so you got your Orbis 900, 9 meter header, and your Orbis 750, that'll be under four horror headers, along with the pickup 300 and the disc 520 net, or 500, sorry, not 520. And yeah, very similar, black or class green, 6 miles an hour and that, Pretty sandy you pick up your grass and that. Again, colours and that. Rooms, like so. Three meters working with, and the 500 is a five meter direct disc pickup. Or mirror, sorry. And you got some little designs there, we'll have a look at those in a sec. But yeah, that's the pickup, that's the mower. And for the mower, it needs a trailer, and there you go. So yeah, the Orbis 900, so go from left to right, that is 7 slots, the 750, that is 8 slots, weirdly, for your pickup 300, that is 5 slots, your direct disc 500 is 4 slots, and the header trailer is 3 slots, and yep, yeah, overall cost in that, not too bad, to be fair in that, yeah, you're looking at 500 grand, I'll admit, without a true nap, but... Looking at your other options, base scheme and that, pretty, yeah, pretty much the same, really. Only difference is the colour options and that, and yeah, different details like with the Man V12 engines and all that. And yeah, it turns with Will Brands and everything else out of the pipe configuration. So let's go to this one here. This has got the Orbis 900. And yeah, we'll get it hooked up, so we'll completely fucking miss that by a mile. So yeah, we'll turn you on. Rocket speed, 6-7 miles an hour. And all these are forge harvesters, so there you go. Get your chaff in. Let's turn you off. Now uh, empty. So yeah. That's that. I'm not going to show you that. It's the same as the 900, just a touch smaller. Now for what grass we've got left over. Let's go and pick them up. So, lower header. That's for the trailer mat. And yeah, turn this on. And yeah, so it's the sound to 9 miles an hour or so. And yeah. Now we're picking up our grass and all that. Like so. Oh no, sorry, this is the mower, not the pickup, sorry. So yeah, we're mowing your grass. Yeah, not too bad, decent speed in that. So just keep on churning this. Set work off if you wish. Now we'll move on to the one that picks it all up, so... What I'm just going to do is just gently dump all this here, like so. Now I'm going to our other one over here. There it is. Now that's got the pickup in that, so unfortunately it doesn't do straw now, it only picks up grass. That'd be something nice to have now, you know, picks up other stuff in that off the floor. They made like the forest pickup mod in that, so regardless. Now it turns on and this one picks up. So yeah, 
I'm gonna post it into the trader. Typical head culture in the way. But yeah, so that is the Claw Strike War 900 TT pack by David8511. Next, now we got the Shooter 2500. This is by Ada Modded MBP team. It is 9.05 megabytes to download, 4 slots for console, and this is a cracking bit of kit in that. And as you can see here, we've got a couple of options in that, including rice fields in that, and some very large horsepower. So, yeah, you're going to find this under your vehicles, under medium tractors. Go towards the end. And yeah, 124,000 to buy initially. And yeah, for a 240 horsepower tractor base price, if you look at base game wise, 240 horsepower, you're looking into around 200 grand, 200, 220 and that. So just for a certain price, base game wise, that's actually quite good. And yep, yeah, four slots goes down to one. And as you see, 240 up to 1156 horsepower, 430 litres of fuel capacity, and just a mere top speed of 90 miles an hour. But this is a very torquey tractor, this is, especially with the horsepower engine. So, engine set, we've got your 2500. 2500 with the turbo, that is 280 horsepower, and yeah, that is what, an extra 5 grand? absolute bargain or if you want something a bit more powerful fight for another 10 grand it is 500 horsepower and for 15 grand off the base price you can have the unrealistic engine of 1156 horsepower and as you can see with the turbos unreal how much fuel you've got what brands you got your trademark standard wise twins michelins Standard wide twins, Nukians wide deep tread. So you got your little tread there on the back. Is that supposed to be like that? I'm not sure actually. I think so actually. It makes sense in a way. Wide tires, and that. Your lizard. This is where you got your iron wheels. Your smooth iron wheels. And back to your normal iron wheels. And yeah, back to the tread board. Beacons, you can have both. None, left, right, and if you've got precision farming, you can have the Acero Pro Compact for a mere 12,000. Main color, so you've got your base game palette and a plethora of customized stuff. And I think a lot of this links to like some A2 Studio stuff, so you can have a biscuit green. So, yeah, main colors are going to change the fenders, the hood, and the roof. Then got your rim colours. But yeah, you can't change the body or anything like that, unfortunately. That'd be a nice thing to have in that, they like change the body in that. Just to perfect the tractor in that. But yeah, so we've got some options here. We've got the twins and the iron wheels. In cab. Ooh, I like that sound. Horn. Decent horn. No other options than that, so you've got your indicators, left, back, right, and yep, yeah, and off the way we go, can't remember how much horsepower it's got, I think it's, I'm not sure if I got the max, or the, the, just the turbo now on it, actually one thing I like about this as well, it's got rear steering it has, and that deceleration as well. See, we've got the rear steel axle on that, so you can do these tight turns and that, no problems whatsoever. So, if something like a UK map or a Eastern European map where the roads and things are very tight and that, but yeah, that sort of deceleration just go off. Ooh, me like he very much. And then, yeah, we'll hop into the one with the iron mills. Even with the iron mills and that, you still get that little bit of up and go. And yeah, this is one I've got the. Pretty sure I've got the max engine on this, but with the iron mills. Yeah, it says 27 miles an hour. And we're only going 20. Actually, let me just quickly 
check a sec because if we go to our tractors and that. So yeah, that's got the ultimate horsepower. Now that's got the 280. So why is it limited to 20 miles an hour? Yeah, it says 27 on the cruise control. But yeah. What about if we say purchase this with the Unreal Turbo? I don't know, put some twins on it. Does that do anything? Maybe it's just restricted because of the wheels we're using. But yeah, I'm not sure, but yeah, let's have a little look. Yeah, 27 horsepower. Oh no, so 27 miles an hour. Yeah, once again, 20 miles an hour limited to. I also want the Unreal on that, so... Alright, so 32 miles an hour is saying. But do we actually go above 20 miles an hour this time? It does, 27. Ah, so interestingly. If you go with the Unreal Turbo, so the 11 horse. 1100 horsepower engine, you're only restricted to 20 miles an hour, so maybe needs an update. I'm not too sure on that because, yeah, if we look into our configurations, it goes from 19 to 32 miles an hour on the left. So, yeah, I may need an update. I will contact a dumb mod in mobile as I release this. But, yeah, overall, not too bad. A cracking mod in that, so, yeah. That is the Skrufa 25500 by Ada Modding ABP Team. Next. And for our penultimate mod of the day, we've got the John Deere Electric Prototype. This is by Talon, Macalis, and Agrimods. 6.91 megabytes to download. Slot count is 10 goes down to 1. And yeah, this is very similar to like the case one of this is basically a automated tractor in that. Obviously it's powered by electricity in that, as you can see on the bottom right. And yeah, you can find inside your vehicles, large tractors go towards the end. So yeah, 250 grand and 530 horsepower. The battery charge is 400 kilowatts per hour. Top speed of 31 miles an hour weighs 10.4 tons. And yep, yeah, sock count is 10, goes down to 1. And yep, yeah, besides from that, there is no customizations. You do have a little weight on the front. And a linkage on the rear with a pin hook in that. But yeah, I don't think that's a three-point linkage, right? So, yeah, obviously where it's electric in that. It's very faint in, in terms with the engine that because yeah that's because it's electric so but yeah let's go and I don't know purchase or these weather three point linkage there we go because yeah I don't think it does a three point linkage an L1 R1 and all that there's nothing there to be seen and yeah ooh <laughs> that. But yeah I'm just curious I don't think it does three point linkage could be wrong. Nope, does not have a three-point linkage. I'm sure there is probably a mod that converts the pin hook to a three-point linkage now, or some various of adapters and that. But yeah, realistically, they are gonna use this with most three-point linkage stuff and that. Because yeah, you got baders, cedars and that, even for those spreaders and that. That do have the option for a pin hook attacher, so overall not too bad a little cracking kit here yeah it tries to do like fast donuts and that yeah, just about doing it now but first of all it was like struggling but yeah this is very nimble and agile and yeah basically this is a like AI automated tractor and that so but yeah regardless that is the John Deere electric prototype by Thailand Mog Hades, or Mog Hades, I do apologize for pronouncing that wrong, along with Agro Mods. 
And for our final model of the day, we got the Lizard Pickup 1988 Custom. This is by Solutions Modding. 28.57 megabytes of download. And yeah, essentially this is a pickup pack in a way that contains obviously your pickup truck, truck body, service pickup, and a platform. And yeah, in terms of slot counts, the truck is 10 slots, the truck body is 6 slots, and service pickup is 25 slots, and the platform is 5 slots. So, first of all, the truck itself. So, under vehicles, under cars, and somewhere amongst all of this. There we go, pickup, 1988 custom. And yeah, you press R3, you do have your customization options. So yeah, service bed and that. We'll go over that in a sec. But yeah, base price, 14,580. 300 horsepower, manual transmission, 150 litres of fuel, top speed of 74 miles an hour. Weighs 5.3 tonnes. And yeah, 10 slots goes down to 1. And it does have a winch support of 1.6 tons. Maybe does it have a winch? Can't see a winch in that, but we'll have a look at that in a sec. But yeah, so your configurations, you got your continentals, different rim models in that. And that is for the front, not for the rear, weirdly. Mitas got standards. Now you got your different rim models now that goes for both. Lizard, standard, different rim models. And back to Continentals. Now for those skirts, you got your original or your long, so it's gonna be here at the front with the hook. So I guess that's the winch. And back to original. Now your front grid or grill, got chrome, original. Original 2 and Chrome 2. So, yeah, different options if you wish. Decals you got 1, 2, which is service, 3, which is servicios, which is, I think, service in Spanish. Got lower stripes and back to no decals. Cabin options you got your original, got your side. So, that is that little trim there on the side. Your parasol. So yeah, it's a visor, light bar on the roof, sides, well, the side panel now, side stripping at, with the sun shades, or all three together. And that's the sun, sh uh, sun shades and your lights. The exhaust options, got your original, so that's going to be here. Original, big chrome exhaust, or back to original. Windows, this is going to be your tint, so original, medium, dark tint. Beacons, no. All yes, and different kind of options. So, got your small LEDs, your bulbs, and your large typical ones. Rear view mirrors, you got your original, got your new models or originals. So, yeah, that's going to be your mirrors. Then, attachers, you got your standard. Fifth wheel option, a gooseneck option, and back to standard. Main car options, a plethora of colours, including some nice purples in that. So yeah, main colour changes that. Interior obviously changes your interior, so your seats, wheel dash and that, and yeah, all other little bits. The loose skirt, so that's gonna be your front bumper in that. And then your decals. So we pick a green, go back up to our decal options. So yeah, that changes the service, but not the striping. And then lastly, you got your rim colour, so let's go and pick a red. Yeah, not too bad, overall is decent. And then next, we'll f have a look at your truck body, so... This will be under tools and miscellaneous. So this we will find your body and your service pickup. So your truck body pickup, 98 custom. Six slots goes down to one. So yeah, you got a bed in that with straps, decals. Yeah, you got your stripes or have like a picture logo. So you got like a 
Fares are John Deere stuff, Kubota the class trader, the key stuff, John Deere mower, or back to none. Sights, no, or yes, so that stripe panel, whatever it's called. Attachers, none. Fifth wheel, gooseneck, and back to none. And then as before, same colour options, so main colour is going to change that. And then for your back door is obviously your tailgate. Licence plate options. And with the service pickup, you also have a fuel capacity. So with standard, you've got 5,000 litres of fuel. Or you've got a dummy unresisted capacity of 50,000 litres. Decals? No. Yes, and yeah, similar to what we just looked at, but a lot better and a lot more clearer, I think. You can actually see more of the stuff in that. Service style, so you got none. Garden that, so you got your wheelbarrows, garden stuff and all that. Your civil stuff, so your jerry cans, jack stands, combs and all that. And then got your farm stuff, so generators, boxes of tools and that. Drum barrels, hoses and that. And back to none. Rack? No. Or yes, so you got your little ladder and that. So yeah, if you want to have like a nice little farm truck where you're working at in the fields, that'd be a very nice thing to have. Make her option changes the body and including the racks and that. And your design colour is the little bed bits there, so chrome, silver, black or standard. Depends on what you fancy in that. Now for your platform, that's what it's called, so it's meant to be platform I think, but it's called platform, so to form. So attached church, got no, fifth wheel, gooseneck, and back to none, license plate, and nothing else. So yeah, what I've got done is I've got a selection of stuff in that, including the base model with a hitch in that. So yeah, let's go into the pickup with the bed and that. Go on with a nice blue and that with a red interior. I like how it starts up. And turn it off again. Got your lights popping up on the dash. Including like your like Apple CarPlay stuff and that. A little gizmo there on the panel. Tension straps, yes or no for the rear. No one next to unfold the trailer. Nothing else. There we go. Horn. Lights. Left indicator. Right indicator. Right. Left. Then got your lights. And got your beacons. So I've got the clear beacons. Yeah, I like how they like flash in that. Not too bad. Ooh, that sounds nice, like a nice diesel engine and that. And yeah, turns with hand in, not too bad. Got a nice gear shift animation. The mirrors, they do work in that. Apart from I'm sure it does, it just... Yeah, it works, but it's a bit of a weird angle, so... Yeah, let's go to a tractor set over here. Yeah, it's on C. How will we see this in our rear view mirror? So, we're clearly. That's clearly behind us. And yeah, it cannot. Yeah, just looking at that, see if we could adjust the seat on the mirrors. No, you cannot. So, yeah, you can just about see it in our central rear view mirror. But yeah, our other mirrors and that. Yes, yeah, like very difficult. To look at, but yeah, I'm not sure. What I mean, again, I'm just looking at the little details now, nitpicking over small details. They say you don't sweat over the small stuff, but at the end of the day, this is a mod review, so I'm going to review everything in this great length of detail. I get to attach your fifth wheels or goose eggs with this, unfold, and hook up. But yeah, a lot of this is like kind of designed in a way to suit like some stuff by A2 Studio. Because so yeah, trying to pull some heavy stuff in that is a bit tricky. I think yeah, we've got the one with the Hot Shot XL. I 
me, mate. Now, that's your TNX. What are you doing over here? Anyways, rude interruption there. So, yeah, now we're going to the one with service rack with your farm stuff. With the W fuel capacity. Fills up quite easy in that. Does offload quite easy as well. So, yeah, go over here. And yeah, you go, go in, need to the other vehicle or enable the trader. And yeah, the pickup range of that, in terms of the fuel in that, quite large actually. So, yeah, look on that left on the help menu. Refill from here, from this distance away. That ain't too bad. Yep, yeah, filled up. Off we go. And yeah, once again, no options or anything to fold or unfold stuff in that with this, but again, it just looks proper nice. A good old 80s farm truck. That has been a little bit more than nice, I would say. Next, moving on to your platform. So yeah, got your tension belts. Once again, no other options. In cabinet. Not too bad, not too shabby in that. And then lastly, we'll look at the one with it's basically a base version with I think a gooseneck attached on that. Yeah, to get basically what you need to do is select the base version of this without any attachers on the back. And actually I'm wondering, can we still attach with the attachments in that? So I'll bring you over there. Yeah, only just for back just now, but be interesting to see that how it looks in that. So yeah, no it doesn't, as I suspected. Yeah, I think that's the fifth wheel attached on that. Let's see how the schools are 30 ton load here that. So yeah, we looked at the TLX one and that really didn't work with the new horror stuff. But can this be the TLX mod on that? It actually looks like this is a gooseneck attacher. So bear with me a sec. Purchase it, or at least another one, and yeah, that is a fifth wheel attacher. Did work with the match truck one, doesn't work with our Surrey tank here. And yeah, this is base game surfaces. So, what about our crampy trader? Because if this doesn't work, then yeah, it's gonna be pretty limited in terms of use. Just for the sake of arguments, this is the one with the gooseneck attacher, as you can see. That little bull hitch thing there. Does this work? So, very should work, because it's not a gooseneck. Nope. Hmm. Interesting. Try this, once again, just to be checking the that. Won't work on that, but yeah, it's all right. Bear me a sec once again. Look for something to be able to attach this with. Oops. Because yeah, if it's just got a fifth wheel hitch, and you can't attach this to anything. Sorry, I've gone and done some testing. Ignore the static sounds. Because yeah, not sure what's happening there. I think the game's having a little death and. Yeah, but after some extensive testing. Let's get rid of that sec. Actually, you know what? Let me just get rid of a couple of these sec. Because, yeah, the game is having a bit of a death moment here. So, TLX stuff in there. Sure. Actually, you know that should be fine. So, yeah, having a little look around in that. And yeah, I've noticed something, so we go and yeah, we attach that to the loader. So you see, it's glitching through. It does work in that, but it doesn't have that clearance. And the problem is, 
the truck here now, the lorry, whatever you want to call it, is sitting up way too high. Like, there's no adjustable suspension because when you try to get it attached to any kind of tree or something that, it just does not want to budge. I mean, even with this one here to get this attached, this does work the uh, fifth wheel hitch and that, as I see. It does work, but requires finagling because why would that work? So you're going to need to do is fold it like so. Then, yeah, once you're sorted, the under your weary part of it's broken now, or at least, yeah, it sits way too high off the road, so. Try to get anything attached to that is next to impossible. Yeah, it is a bit stupid in that, so. Oh, no, what's screw it? Just leave that glitching away. Oh, I've had enough of that for one day. So, yeah, that is the Lizard Pickup 1988 by Sushi's Modding. And that is all of the mods for. Tuesday the 28th of February 2024. As always, hope you find this helpful and informative in some way, shape or form. If so, smash the button, feel free to down below. If you want to share so please be my guest. If you're not sub subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, for what you choose to do, hope you have a nice day. But for now, it's me Farmer and Void Stream, and I'll see you all very soon.